Hey, so today we're going to be reviewing Paranorman, which is from the same guys that brought us Coraline. This animated feature film is about a little kid named Norman who speaks with dead people, uh, who starts off by getting teased and called a freak. Uh, later on, turns out that he is needed to save the town because an old witch has taken over and the zombies have popped up. And yeah, so he is needed to save the town. It stars the voices of Ben Affleck's brother, Judd Apatow's wife, McLovin, the fat friend from Curb Your Enthusiasm, the fat husband from Roseanne, and Anna Kendricks. And John Goodman. That's the fat husband from Roseanne. The animation is pretty good in this film. It sort of looks like it's the, the clay model yes. type stuff, but it's all, I believe, 100% animated, so... It is up cool. for a lot of awards. It's won a few, didn't it? Yeah. And it, yeah, it definitely deserves it. It's spectacular. Visually spectacular. At first it was a bit slow, um, the story taking off. Once it did, I thought it was pretty interesting. It wasn't too bad. I generally, uh, for some reason, I don't like kids animated films that much. I know they've got the jokes in there for the adults, but they're not really that funny and I just find the storyline not that interesting. This one wasn't too bad, but yeah. again... Even I was kind of interested. What's that other one where we watched the bats? Batman. The animated movie with the bats and... Batman <laughs> animation. Well, Batman anyways, the TV series. It, this movie, this film wasn't predictable, you know? I felt like there was changes. Animated with bats? Not dragons? The one that's the cartoon where he wanted to save his daughter from... Humans. Oh, Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania. Well, anything with Adam Sandler and you know it's not going to be a good movie. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. So what are you going to give it out of 10? 8 zombies out of 10 zombies. I think I'm, that's the highest rating I've ever given to any film that I've sort of reviewed. Um, it's unfortunate that I've given it to a cartoon or animated film. Probably because of all the trashy movies that we watch. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 6 witches out of 10. It was alright, I'll give it a pass. Animation was very good, but overall I was a little bit lacking, kind of lacking. Let us know what you thought of it. Leave your comments below. If there's anything else you want us to review, let us know that as well. Otherwise, subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. I think it's one of the better kid movies. Nothing can beat Nemo. Nemo? Nemo? Nino? Finding Nemo. Finding me. Oh my god, I'm not doing this shit again. <laughs>